Hey, uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to do child dedications right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to invite some of the family members up. Um, we're not legalistic around here. If you want to invite, uh, you know, whether it's the immediate family or, you know, you brought the whole family. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pray together as a church and we're going to commit your children to the Lord. The, uh, first of all, I'm so proud. Well, sign, let, me, let me bounce back real quick. Uh, I want to say we are a church that's for everyone, but one of the things that I do see is that we're a, a church, especially uh, a lot of young families are coming to our church. Uh, uh, you kind of, people are attracted to who you are, so to speak, because my wife and I are young in our 30s, and we have a young family. This is just, this is just the season that we are at as a church, and what we are seeing today is a little bit of that because we have a lot of child uh, dedications today. And uh, my wife, my daughter's two years old, so my wife and I looked at each other, and we, we told each other, you know what? We need to dedicate our child. We're the pastors, Kareen. Progress. We're the pastors of the church. We've been so church busy, all right, for two years with COVID and all of that, that uh, we just said, we're going to do it even if it's just us. Well, we announced it to the church, and a lot of people wanted to participate, which we're so grateful for. And I want to say this. I am proud of you parents, all right? I'm very proud of you parents dedicating your children to the Lord especially in the world in which we live today. You're going to raise your kids on the values of the Bible, which are now and forever, all of eternity. Do you hear what I'm saying? Culture changes. What's in one day is out the next. But the Bible says that the word of God is for eternity. And as you raise your kids on the Bible, I promise you that your family is going to be blessed in Jesus' name. So what I'm going to do is we're going to call uh, uh, the, the families up here. And I'm going to lay hands and we're going to anoint the, the children with oil. And oil is a sign of consecration. They used to anoint the kings and the, prof, uh, the prophets with oil as a symbol of separating them from the world and dedicating them to God for the service of God, for the works of God, for, for, for God's reign, so to speak. So, we're, uh, so that's what we're going to do today. The Bible says, raise up a child in the way that they should go, and when they are old, they will not depart from it. Amen? So we're going to have, actually, I have a few family members who are actually going to uh, dedicate their children. We have a Roman Renee Salazar and Lorenzo Antonio Salazar. I'm going to have uh, my sister come on up. Is she here right now? Where's she at? Don't be afraid. Come on up here. You're the, you're the sister of the pastor. You know what I'm saying? Get on up here. All right. Actually, wife, can I give this to you? I'm going to pull this here, this one here. Take that out. There we go. All right. Come on up, kids. You guys could stand. I'll move the pulpit back here, and you guys could stand right over here on the pulpit. And uh, I'm going to have you. Mom, you can come on up. Sorry, this is a, this, when you know the kids are up in the service, it's going to be a little bit noisy and uncomfortable, all right? Just like your house when you're trying to watch the Dodger game. All right, just be quiet. Turner's off the bat. All right, all right. here we go. First of all, Arlene, I want to say I'm so proud of you as your brother for raising your kids in the Lord and the ways of, of God. All right, actually, let me see here. Can I have, um, well, I'll do this, I'll do it like this. All right, here we go. So I'm, gonna, I'm doing this as me getting my, my thumb wet with oil, okay? Here we go. All right. Let me anoint him first. Roman Renee Salazar. All right. Lorenzo. All right. Antonio Salazar. You, he's watching YouTube as we're dedicating him right now. If, that, if, that, if that's how we do it to keep... <sighs> the devil is a lie. It's Coco Melon. The devil is a lie, Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to be really holier than thou and pause it for a second, oh, Lorenzo, because you got a calling in Jesus' name, and we're going to do that right now, okay? All right. Would you guys stretch out an arm real quick, and uh, we're going to pray for Lorenzo. And uh, we dedicated Brooklyn a few years ago, so she's already sanctified in Jesus' name. All right. Let's stretch out a hand toward these children real quick, everybody, as a community of, of Christ. All right. Let's see all of your hands. There you go. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you so much for Roman. We thank you for uh, a Lorenzo, Lord. We pray, Father, that you consecrate them. Actually, to this very day, you are consecrating them, and you're separating them, God, from the rest of the world. May they shine like stars of righteousness in a dark world. Father, the light of Christ, we don't have to, we don't have to try. We just, we just shine. 
because we have you in our hearts. We reflect the light of the Savior. Father, we pray as we commit them to you that you protect them all the days of their life, that you send angels to guard them and to guide them. We ask for peace in the midst of troubles. We ask, Father, that when they call upon you, you will surely answer in the day of trouble and affliction. God, we thank you so much for their mama who's raising them in the ways of God. We ask, Holy Spirit, that you would send your presence upon them to fill them and anoint them and to let them be familiar with your ways, your touch, and your voice. We ask this in Jesus' name, and everybody said, amen and amen. Give them a clap, everybody. Thank you so much. You guys can sit down. Good job. Coco Melon. Oh, my goodness. All right. We, next, we have uh, Gra uh, Grace and Ella Rabinovich. So I'm going to have the family come on up here. All right. Family, come on. Uh, I think they're here somewhere. Right here? Okay. All right. Come on up here. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Actually, Jovan, are you right here somewhere? Jovan, where is he at? I'm going to need someone's help because, yeah, they, come on over here, Jovan. I'm going to actually have you help me because I wrote a blessing and I prayed for you guys throughout the week and I want to read it to you, to you guys. So, Jovan, can you help me for a second? Can you hold this? I wrote this, so I want to make sure I read it. All right. This is also my family. Uh, this is Ella, and this is Grace. You guys don't have Coco Melon. God bless you. All right? <laughs> awesome. I'm so proud of you guys. Not yet. I'm so proud of you guys that you're deciding to raise your children in the ways of the Lord, and I believe that uh, God's blessing will be upon your family. Amen? And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to anoint them with oil, and then I'm going to read this prayer that I wrote for them, okay? The thing about grace is she's actually very graceful. This is who she is. Amen. All right, let's, let me read this. Would you guys stretch out an arm toward them, arms toward them? Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for Ella and Grace. You said in your word that you knew them in Jeremiah 1.5. Before the, they were born, you knew them in the womb. And uh, uh, we ask this day that you set them apart for your great purposes and your plans. We pray that you will grow in wisdom. Come over here with me, uh, Jovan. I'm going to put hands on them. We pray, uh, uh, we pray, Father, that they will grow in wisdom, stature, and favor with God and with men. Lord, we pray that as they grow, they will become strong in the faith. They will have a faith of their own, that they will know their, your voice. They will be sensitive to your leading. Holy Spirit, we pray you flood them. You grace them and you touch their lives and that they may shine like stars of righteousness in a dark world that we live in today. That they don't have to be a Bible wired for sound, that they would just shine with the light of Christ within them. We pray for favor, Lord, upon them. And Father, like Grace is smiling right now, that all the days of their life you will smile upon them. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen, amen. All right, give them a clap. Awesome. All right. I'm going to have you here still. Is that okay? All right. We have uh, Dulce uh, and Layla Mendez. You guys can come on up. All right. So great. And you guys can stand right here front and center. I'm gonna, can I give this to you too, Jovan? <laughs> I got a lot going on up here. Here you go. All right. Dulce, I just met you a few weeks ago, and I'm so proud of you for deciding to raise Layla in the ways of the Lord and the values of the Lord. And I pray that because you're doing that, you'll see blessing upon your life, and I believe you will. And uh, we're just so grateful to know you and just partner with you as you raise Layla in the ways of God. Amen. All right. Father, you said in Jeremiah 1.5 that before uh, Layla was in the womb, you knew her, you formed her, and you've called her and you've chosen her. We pray, Father, that you smile upon her, that you flood her all the days of her life, that mercy and faithfulness shall follow her, that though she may walk sometimes in life through the valleys of the shadows of death, she will fear no evil, for the Lord her God is worth with her. We pray, Father, that her light will shine like a city on a, in a hill because of her love and devotion to you, Lord, that she will one day raise her children in the ways of the Lord because her mama is committing her to the Lord. As we anoint her with oil, we pray, Holy Spirit, we consecrate her to you, God, protect her. May you send your angels concerning her to guard her and to guide her in this life, Father. We thank you so much for mom. We pray for patience. We pray for wisdom. 
We pray for guidance upon her as a parent to Layla. In Jesus' name, everybody said, amen, amen. God bless you guys. You guys may be seated. Awesome. All right, well, one second. I'm going to have Karen and Isaiah Heckman bring up Nicholas Asher Heckman. Yeah, you could give him a clap. So cool. Awesome. All right. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Isaiah, or excuse me, Nicholas is eight months old. And we have another on the way. How far along are you? Five, five and a half months. Awesome. So cool. So we'll see you next soon. All right. For the next one. All right. Nicholas Asher Heckman. What a great name. I'm so proud of you guys for raising him in the values of the Bible. I'm so grateful for your faith in God. And I believe and trust that as you raise your son in the ways of God and your future son, future son in God, that they will raise their children in God in this crazy world that we live in. Amen? All right. Let me anoint him. Nicholas Asher. Uh, he, oh, he, he, okay, let's. There we go. He's like, who are you guys? All right. Nicholas Asher Heckman, we consecrate you unto the living God. And we ask that you be filled with the Holy Spirit even now at eight months old that you would be separated to do great works for, the key, for King Jesus. We thank you so much, Father, for his parents raising him in the Lord. And I'm not sure, but I have a sneaking suspicion that the parents were raised in the ways of the Lord, and they're continuing that line, God. Um, I pray, Father, that you bless uh, Nicholas all the days of his life. Protect him, consecrate him, guide him. And when, sometimes in his life, he will go through the valley of the shadow of death, but he will fear no evil, for the Lord his God will be with him, mountain high and valley low. We ask, Father, that he will shine as bright as the stars because of the light of Christ upon his life. We thank you for this day and, and honor their, the parents' faith today. And we pray for patience, uh, uh, raising um, Nicholas. We pray for wisdom when raising Nicholas. God, we pray for uh, all, all the blessings that you desire to provide as they raise Nicholas in your ways, Lord. And we pray, Father, for supernatural, abundant favor for Nick Nicholas in the classroom, in the workplace, on the sports field, and all of the above, Father. We thank you this day, and we raise them up to you now and forever. In Jesus' name, everybody said, amen, amen. Give them a clap, guys. So good. All right. <laughs> awesome. All right, next we're going to have uh, Annie and Jay Swade. All right, you guys can make your way up to the front. They have, they're dedicating Corey J. Swade and Madison Rees Swade. I like that name, Rees. We, we're, we're thinking of names to name our son. So Rees, what do you think about that one? R-H-Y-S. Save it in your phone. All right. All right, guys. We're so, let me get some oil. This oil, by the, way, by the way, is frankincense and myrrh. Smell it. It's good. It's really good. All right. Here we go. All right. Father, in the name of, which one's Corey? I don't want to give Corey someone else's blessing. Which one's Corey and Madison? All right. She, <laughs> All right. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much for Madison. Father, we separate her from this world. God, Father, you knew her before she was even in her mama's womb. God, you chose her and you called her. And like oil, you separate her and consecrate her for a special purpose of devotion to you in this world. M Madison is no accident at all, God. We pray that you put ar around her the right people to show her the way in her life. We pray for the right friendships. We pray for the right mentors. We pray for even the right family members and get the wrong family members out, Lord, so to speak. We thank you, and we honor mama's and dada's faith today, so to speak, Lord, that one day they will raise their kids in the ways of the Lord. Father, we thank you, God, that your mighty hand is upon Madison, and all the days of her life, mercy and faithfulness and love shall follow her. And even though sometimes she may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, she will fear no evil, for the Lord her God is with her. Father, every time she takes a step, may you take a step with her. Father, we pray that her ears and her hearts would be sensitive to your voice. In Jesus' name, amen. Let me pray for Corey. All right. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we anoint Corey. We thank you, Lord, for these two sisters. And I pray, Lord, that Madison might be Corey's mentor, Lord. 
We thank you, Lord, that Madison is already teaching her and, uh, uh, and mentoring her in her life, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that this young little girl is separated to do wonderful things in your holy name. God, the world cannot have her, Lord. She belongs to you in Jesus' name. And we pray, Father, that so, though sometimes in her life she may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, she will fear no evil, for the Lord her God is, is with her. He prepares for her a table in the presence of her enemies. Her head is anointed with oil. Her cup overfloweth, Father. We thank you that she will shine, Lord, in this world with the light of Christ Jesus. And nothing can take that light away. We thank you, Lord, for these girls and these parents. Give them wisdom, favor. Give them blessing all the days of their life as they raise their family, Lord, their girls. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen and amen. Give them a clap. So good. All right. Next, we have Marlon and Annette Mora with Mateo Cruz Mora. You guys can come on up with your family. All right. Grab some of this. Okay, thank you. You guys can come on up here front and center, however you guys want to do this. Awesome. You guys can come, come on. How are you? Good to see you. Awesome. All right. Uh, you guys can have, you, some of you guys can be on this side if you want to even it out over here. All right. So cool. Yeah, you guys, Annette and, and Marlon, you guys can come up, okay? Awesome. One thing I, I think about when I think about your son, because we've known each other for a while now, is this boy is so, I always see a smile on his face. He is always filled with joy. And I want to tell you, that's a gift from God. All right, let's pray for him. Father, in the name of Jesus, we anoint uh, baby Mateo, Lord. We consecrate him to your ways. And we say thank you, Lord, for these parents who are choosing Jesus above this world. We say thank you, Lord, that they're raising their child in your ways. Because you are the way, the truth, and the life, no matter what the world says. Father, we pray for an acute awareness in Math Mateo's heart, in his ears, and in his mind of your, of your voice. We pray, Father, though there might be times he may walk through the valley of the shadow of death, he will fear no evil, for the Lord his God will be with him. His head is uh, anointed with oil, his cup overfloweth, Father. We pray that all the days of his life, he and his faith will shine like the brightness of the stars forever, Lord. That nothing in this world would make his, uh, his faith in you dim, Lord. That we pray that you surround him with the right friends, the right mentors, the right people, the right church folk, so to speak, Lord, in his life to guide him. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray for favor, wisdom, stature uh, with God and with men. And uh, we just say thank you, Father. We pray that the, that the faith tradition, so to speak, that these parents are raising Mateo, that one day when he has kids, he will raise them in that tradition as well, Lord. We consecrate him to you today, Lord. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen, amen. God bless you guys. <laughs> All right. Okay, uh, next is my daughter, all right? Okay, thank you, all right. I'm gonna take this and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot from the hip even though I wrote a prayer. That's all right. You got, you, yeah, that's all good. No, no, I'm not gonna read it. Can you put this on my seat? When you shoot from the hip, you don't get more real than that. Yeah, just put it next to, oh, yeah. Don't steal that, all right. <sighs> Sorry if I get emotional. You want to say something first before I start melting down right now on the stage? All right. <laughs> you want to say hi, Mama? Hi. <laughs> she always sees her mama with a mic. So we, she has about five microphones at home because she wants to be a singer too. All right. Well, let's pray. Amen. Would you guys stretch out arms to Hope, Alexandria, Alfaro? We're going to pray, Mama. Remember how we pray at home? Yeah? <laughs> it's okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, we just thank you so much for the daughter that we prayed for, Lord. It felt like forever, Lord, that we waited for it. Three years felt like forever to us, at least. And, uh, Father, we just thank you so much for this beautiful child, Lord. The Bible says, raise up a child in the way that they should go, and when they're old, they will not 
depart from it. You said, bring the little children unto me. Don't forsake them, for the, for the kingdom of God belongs to children such as these. God, we thank you for her intelligence. We thank you for her gifts. We thank you for her purpose that you have placed on her life. And Lord, we consecrate her this day. Uh, although I'm the pastor, I'm her daddy first, Lord. And Pastor Karina is her mommy first. And we pray, Father, that you separate her from this world. And although she may walk through sometimes in this life, through the valley of the shadow of death, she will fear no evil. For the Lord, her God, is with her. Father, we know that her, her cup of anointing is overflowing. Holy Spirit, we pray you descend upon her and fill her. And may her ears, her heart, her mind be acute to your awareness and your voice. Father, I pray not only as a pastor today, but I pray as a papa that you surround her with the right people, the right mentors, the right pastors uh, to guide her. We pray that you cause your angels to protect her and to guide her. And Lord, the, the, the uh, Father, how I've experienced you, even from a youth at seven years old, you've always been my shepherd. You've never left me, Lord. When no one would listen, you would listen. When, when no one would care, you would care. When no one was there, you were always there. I pray that same anointing for my daughter, Lord, that she will trust you and have a faith of her own in you, Lord, that she will shine like the stars in the sky with the righteousness of Christ Jesus, and that she will do mighty exploits in your name, Lord. Like Jeremiah 1.5 says, I knew you, Jeremiah, in the womb. Before you were in the womb, I called you and I chose you. Father, Jeremiah 29.11 says, I, for I know the plans I have for you, saith the Lord, plan to prosper you and not to harm you, to give you a future and to give you a hope. So, Father, I thank you so much for our precious daughter. And Karina and I commit to ra- commit, commit, are committed excuse me, to raising her in, in your ways and your values, despite culture, despite the news, despite what anyone says, because our faith is grounded in you, Jesus Christ, who is Lord and Savior. We trust you this day, and we consecrate our little girl to you, Lord. In Jesus' name, everybody said amen. All right.